Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever may never see this. This is the Free Dogs Under Faust, the whip. Come back to you with some more Warhammer 40k. This time I'm going to be covering the Tau, um, because I think they got a decent change um, with the broadsides regaining core. Um, so I actually took out my Crisis team, I know. But with all the point increases on Crisis suits, I just feel like this is going to be more value. Um, it is going to be still Tau Sept, but I'm going to have a Cadre Fireblade here now. And then he's going to have the uh, Pure Tide Ingram Neurotrip to help you save CP. Still have Commander Shadow Sun. I have an Ethereal here with the Humble Stab, of course. Along with... Uh, where is it? Uh, I think... Don't they have it? I thought I gave them Exemplar of the Monska. Didn't I not? Yeah, Exemplar of the Mont Ka, which is funny because <laughs> Shadow Sun, it's an ethereal. Like, none of that makes sense. But I could do it, and I'm gonna. Uh, because this way, it gives you the option. If you want to go Mont Ka, you can. But even if you don't, if they get close to you, you'll reroll wounds. Because it just goes from 9 to 12 with Mont Ka. So, you really get a nice juicy bonus still that's gonna be hidden. Um, two Fire Warriors, uh, I believe this is Strike Teams, because with the Pulse Rifles, it's, I'm so tired. I'm um, glad I got this mostly prep before work. Um, three things of Pathfinders, kitted out with the Pulse Accelerator Drone and Recall Drone. Um, the reasoning is, is this is also actually with those with the Cadre Fireblade can be a backup source of damage that's pretty decent. Because it's Tau Sept, again, I am able to run Shadow Sun and I'm able to run Long Strike. We'll buff the Hammerhead. And in case you lose the Hammerhead... Guess what? You can target the broadsides now, and they count as having marker lights. But with all of these, you should have marker lights. This is so much to chew through just for them to deny you marker lights, and they're leaving all your big spooky stuff. So they're probably going to be alive, meaning you're probably going to have marker lights. A five stack of shield drones just to hop over, hold an objective, in case you can't obsec something, or you need to just be quick and run over and snag it, or use as lookout, sir. Um, a shield drone for the ethereal and a shield drone for the cadre fireblade of course six shield drones for the broadsides the broadsides are going to have stabilized optics instead of the extra missile but they will also have the uh, twin high yield missile pod and the reason is because they have sense uh, stabilized optics again you don't you can go kai yoon um the point of this army is to go kai yoon i'm more of a fan usually of Montka, but it's just so expensive now i just don't feel like I'm just really neck and neck with the efficiency. God, my feet hurt. Um, because you're getting um, higher trade value with, I'm just, I can never find the word. I always forget what it is. But because of the snowball effect of you getting better yields early on, it will play out better. It's going to anger me that I can't think of the word. Uh, and so usually Montka is the way to go unless you're just like able to stall out with your opponent. But anyway, uh, this is pretty freaking decent with the firepower, and they're going to be annoying to uh, shrug off. Yes, you could run Crisis Suit again instead, but I feel like this is enough to at least make me consider it because you have more board control. I feel like the Crisis was more damage output for sure, Boy, this is better board control right now and with all the with the change to strategic reserves i feel like this is going to be overall better and how much melee there is goddamn in the game right now uh just world eaters stomping and so many of the maps i see just clog up the fucking board with as many thin obscuring ruins as possible which is AIDS because it severely punishes anything ranged and immensely pun uh, and also anything that's not it basically infantry uh, melee based it just punishes and I don't want Tau to shoot people across the board and along with guards shooting people across the board Iron Warriors boy it's it's just too much and high level skill players can just so abuse it I'm tired of seeing it to the amount that it is uh, it's almost always recently for most of the maps made uh, over the quarter percent recommended in the book and is annoying. 
so as long as you don't deal with that, this is going to be a pretty good army. There's also Riptide. Sorry, I went on a rant there. <laughs> but um, I had an iffy day. But I hope if you're watching this, you have a great day. And don't have a good day, have a great day. And if you like my content, like, share, and subscribe. I don't know how much I'm going to be putting out um, because I'm busy and super busy. And I just haven't been in the greatest 40k mood. I'm just basically waiting for 10th edition to drop. And then, even then, it's going to be waiting on all the L-Scribe, Battle Scribe catching up. Take care and game on, gamers. Bye.